Hi friends, Adam Pecorero from Flexerero Gym and we're gonna be doing a boxing workout today. The way it goes is that we always have kind of a theme of the video and I run it much like I would run a class. We start with a stretch, warm up, and then we jump into our day's training. Okay my friends, so like usual, we start with some chain breakers, something familiar so that you know what to expect and we start to expand the chest and get the shoulders warmed up on that horizontal plane. Three, two, Okay, and then tricep swings. And now we've got the shoulders working obviously in the vertical plane. So we're trying to work on mobility and heat them up while we get our muscles loose. And we keep swinging here for three, two. Okay, we got a circle. Once forward, once back. Lift and push, lift and pull. <sighs> Breathing deep, not because you're exhausted, but because you want to relax the body and relax the mind. Okay, trunk rotations with a nice pivot, just like you're throwing what? Hook punches. Yeah, I knew you'd say that. Yes, like you're throwing hook punches. Or elbows. Or what? Elbows. I didn't understand you with that Taco Bell in your mouth, wife. What? <laughs> Side bend reaches. Push your hip. Push your hip. Push your hip. Ah. Time, scorpions. Skate and hook them. Dynamically stretch the quads, work on unbalancing, so you've got to engage the cage. If you want to work the core, you got to unbalance, right? Ooh. Okay. Hips into out circles. Make them big, make them beautiful. Okay, circle the opposite way. Morning stretch. Give a good pull. Where'd my head go? Oh. Okay, legs up shoulder width. Neck rotations. Oh, I swear, every time I do neck rotations, I feel like someone's taking a shovel right on top of sand and just crinkling it and I'm listening really close. All I hear is Drop it center, high to low. Relax your jaw. Center, right to left. Relax your shoulders. Center, take a breath. Lie down slow. Jumping jacks with me, you can always step. If you'd like to, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, make fist tap your tongue. Not your ribs, not your hips, and not too hard either, okay? Keep going. 5, 4, 3, 2, feet forward and back. You don't have to tap your tummy anymore. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, legs together and apart, hands the same. Seal jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ten more to give us fifty. Standard with some gut busters. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, jump rope, right foot, left foot. Keep breathing. Figure eight. Wow, you're good at that. Crossover. Whoa. Two foot hop. Doing good. Right, right. Left, left. Hang out and Taco Bell instead of helping us to make the video for you. <laughs> Three, two, one, high knees. Oh. 
Hang in. Five, four, three, two. Settle. Settle like a jog. Settle like a step together and apart. Try to get yourself back to resting heart rate. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If it's like you're at home and you're trying to work out, your kids are laughing at you. No, My we, kids are over there you laughing. You on Snapchat when you're doing the jump rope and then you drew a rope. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> they filmed me on Snapchat and then they drew in a rope. First thing we're gonna do on the bag is boxing combos one through five which we already have learned, so this is a review and refinement. You are encouraged to practice both sides when you feel really comfortable off of your dominant side. From an orthodox demonstration stance, I have one is a lead jab, two is the jab cross, three adds in the lead hook, four adds in another right cross, and five is gonna add in the lead uppercut, and we're simply gonna cycle on a loop Guard up, look through your hands, not over them, so chin is down, abs are tight, knees are bent, and they're on a 45. Always return to guard between your shots. Exercise number two is what we call a crunch, which is a piece of defense. We're gonna throw a counter sequence off of that. So from our guard, we're gonna drop our elbow and we're gonna condense our body like we're doing a standing crunch like you would do if you were lying on the ground. So it looks like this. As I bring my arm down, I'm trying to take their attack here. Now, from this position, I'm actually loaded for a counter shot. I could always use the other hand, but we're gonna keep that one up because they have another hand as well. Just in case they wind from one attack to the other, we're gonna be ready. So we catch and we return with an uppercut. We're gonna reload that into a same side hook and then throw cross, hook, cross. So we got a five punch sequence total. So off my lead, I crunch, catch their shot, Fire an uppercut, reload the hook, and then right cross, left hook, right cross. Next is the crunch on the opposite side, but don't switch your feet. Drop your rear arm, and just like before, we're gonna counter off of that loaded side. But because our rear side, there's always gonna be a little bit more time to reload and cycle that one out, we're simply gonna snap our waist and fire the lead hook. 
So whereas before it was a double off of the initiating side, we're just going opposites off of this side. So I catch, I'm upper, hook, and then cross, hook, cross. Almost exactly the same combo, it's just where you block and counter from that's different. If you saw our last video, we did the Tyson switch. We're gonna do the Tyson switch with a counter. So again, the idea is that the ceiling is very, very low. So I don't wanna bound up too high. My feet switch to the other side, creating a slight angle and a new opportunity to try to get in on somebody. I'm gonna throw a body hook and then bring that up with the same arm. So more reloading. Now, when I do that switch, I wanna make sure that I'm planted before I fire, but we do wanna to try to have quickness as a priority. In the beginning, you should go for balance, posture, and technique, and when you're confident, at the speed. That way you don't get sloppy, and you don't get hurt when you do this jump and switch. People have rolled their ankle doing this when they're not confident. When you feel confident, you hop, pop, and then pop again. a long chain sequence known as the threes. Now, because we've already done elements of the threes, we're gonna do the first six moves of this 18 punch sequence right now. So it begins with jab, cross, hook, follows with uppercut, hook, cross. Those six moves are always opposite. So we got lead, rear, lead, rear, lead, rear as we go through. Try not to flail your arms as you get punching. Keep things tight and condensed and try to come back to guard with every shot that returns to your face.
The next part of the threes is gonna add in a shovel hook, reload that to a head hook, and then finish with a cross punch. Now we are gonna graph this onto what we just did, which will give you a nine punch sequence. It would look like this. Our previous combo, and then I'm going to bring my liver shot in, reload that, same arm, head hook, and then fire, cross. So we're adding in shovel hook, head hook, cross. sequence is a double jab cross punch. We've done this before. This is still going to be a part of what we call the threes, which again is an 18 punch sequence, but we're going to take a break from the first section that we've been working on and scale things back. What I want you to do is not just use this as a chance to recover your wind, but to also make sure that in the face of fatigue, you're still being clean. And this is a good time to do it because it returns us to the very first punches we ever learned. So you're doing jab, jab, cross for this next minute and just that. Now we're gonna to add to the double jab cross. And I don't wanna sound like a broken record, although I, I have been uh, known to sound like that. But this is all going to be one long sequence, okay? We're just kind of piecing it out. So inch by inch, it's a cinch. From the double jab cross, we're gonna throw lead uppercut, kind of like how we would end a five. Reload that into a hook and then come back with a cross. So your next sequence is jab, jab, cross, uppercut, hook, cross. Let's go ahead and get into that. Now we're gonna add one more combo onto what we've been studying. It's gonna be a jab into a lead hook and then a cross punch. So it would look like this. We go jab, reload, lead hook, and then cross punch. 
and adding this in, jab, jab, cross, upper, hook, cross, jab, hook, cross. That's what we wanna do next. Boxing, like all martial arts, is as much mental as it is physical, if not more so. The mental aspects involve your focus, your self-discipline, your concentration, but also your ability to think quick on your feet, to process, and sequencing will help you with that. It may be difficult in the beginning, and if this is too much, piece it out. Don't do all that I'm about to ask you to do. Do what you can handle, and then in time, in reviewing this video, you'll be able to handle more. If you're up for the full challenge, here's the entire 18-move sequence that we call the threes. So it starts with jab, cross, hook, uppercut, hook, cross, shovel hook, hook, cross, jab, jab, cross, lead uppercut, hook, cross, jab, lead hook, cross. One more time. One, two, three, the rear upper, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, the lead up, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Putting them together becomes difficult. Say P and E and C, but putting them together into a pecorero is very difficult to say, right? But with time and training, you become better.
everybody, fitness finale time. So we're gonna start with our abs, and today we're gonna be doing sit-ups with an elbow twist. You put your hands at your head and your right elbow goes to your left knee, left elbow to your right knee. If it's too difficult to do sit-ups this way, you can continue to put one hand over the other and spear to the sky. Next on our list is some burpees. Burpees are exhausting. I'm gonna give you a goal of trying to do 10. Here's how it goes. We squat down, thrust our legs back. We do one push up, jump your legs back under, stand up with a little jump in the air. We like to reach our hands up for the sky, although you don't always have to do this. It does make it a little bit more exerting. 10 of those could be enough to wreck some people. We gotta do two rounds of those, but I know you can do it hanging with me.
great workout today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad that I can come through your TV and harass you in your garage or living room or wherever you're doing this. Do me a favor, like the video, because it really helps YouTube's algorithm to pass our videos around when there's likes. You can dislike it too. All they want is interaction. So if you like this guy's the worst, hit that thumbs down, man. Yeah, slam that thumbs down. The other thing is if you'd like to leave a comment to verbally assault me and be like, you are the worst. Your t-shirt is goofy. Your wife thinks she's funny when she interrupts and she's not. Whatever, go ahead. I like positive comments too. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click that little notification bell so that you can be updated every time we upload a brand new video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.